I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Well, it's not coming out until March 4th, 2016, Prometheus 2. But just like uh, we gave you the first sneak peek uh, before Prometheus 1 came out, we're set to do it here again today at InfoWars.com. Prometheus itself is just a backdrop to project a larger discussion onto uh, the greatest question really ever posed. Where do we come from? Who are we? Where are we going? What is our place in the universe? And we're going to go back and look at my review of Prometheus six months or so before it came out uh, a few years ago. And then we're going to give you a sneak peek from our sources uh, without giving away too much. Uh, on what is going to be in Prometheus 2. So first look at Prometheus 2 here today. Now I want to be clear, uh, this breakdown is not an assault on Christianity, which is my faith, uh, but my faith is not the Christianity promoted by the mainline preachers, uh, many of them themselves dogmatically controlled by their uh, administrations and, and, and state-run systems to keep the public unaware of what the elite themselves believe, which is not necessarily what I believe. But it's important to understand the governing system uh, of the establishment if we hope to beat them. Now, the elite themselves see themselves uh, becoming the master engineers. Ray Kurzweil, that heads up Google's uh, future technology development, has said he doesn't believe in God yet, but that he will soon become God, and that those of us that don't accept this will be stepped on. They're saying it's the end of humanity, they've decided we're garbage, and that they're going to merge with the machines and become these godlike creatures they're now playing the part 
they see as God preparing for a new overwrite, not by water, not by fire, uh, but by genetic engineering, AKA uh, the Prometheus model. And then there's also the point of AI technology. Will it end up being dominant uh, over humans that have been discarded? Or will it be the super genetic engineering uh, family that becomes dominant? Now, there are a lot of good things in the fire of Prometheus that technology, genetic engineering could help us. With frogs and other amphibians, we could grow back limbs. We could grow back eyes. Uh, we could uh, have brain chips that help us live longer and not have Parkinson's. A lot of that already exists, and DARPA's acting like they just now uh, rolled it out. The larger problem is there are thousands of companies and tens of thousands of experiments going on with human embryonic cloning for at least 30 years that was kept secret until a few years ago, splicing humans with animals, really nightmare things that eclipse anything you see uh, in Hollywood, uh, in any film for that matter, not just Prometheus. Here's a few uh, articles. Growing human organs inside pigs in Japan. Uh, glowing in the dark. Uh, monkeys that are part jellyfish you can buy in Hong Kong bazaars. Artificial you know, human ears grown in labs. I mean, there are literally thousands of examples of this going on. And families already paying for designer babies that have certain color eyes or or, or, or will be taller than the parents, even though they admit they don't understand DNA, and that when you randomly change one piece of DNA, it then releases all these other thousands of combinations and entire separate genomes of humans and other species not known on this planet that are in our genetics. And that is in the New York Times. I remember interviewing people 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago, on this subject of epigenetics that the fact is we're like a book with chapters as we grow, and the environment will influence how we manifest the genes that are already there. They're telling you that you get cancer and cancer is going up because you have bad genes. No, the environment is manifesting things that are triggering our genes to do that. Here's an article in the New York Times, DNA double take. And the way I had this described to me 15 years ago by a top genetic engineer I was interviewing was, it's like taking a picture of a tiger that was the gene sequencing at Cold Springs Harbor by IBM that happened by 2000. They didn't have a tiger. They didn't know a tiger. They didn't have it with them. They, it couldn't reproduce. They had a photo of a tiger and were claiming that they had a tiger. But now we know it's bigger than that. And that's why so many atheists that are genetic engineers now believe in God or aliens or the fact that humans were seated here because there's no way the so-called evolution theory, see the mainline Christians that follow dogma put out to make Christians look bad, they're there to discredit Christianity and make it look unscientific. The truth is everything in it affirms it. And then you've got the other dogma religious people that only believe in the official version of evolution when we know it comes in big jumps instantly, pretty much. And that's what this says. It says there's no way humans were basically from this planet and there's no way, and we've got all this DNA that isn't even, you know, uh, it's other humans but other things, and it's freaking them out. Well, it should freak them out. Ten ways science is using human-animal hybrids. Again, the chimeras. The mouse was with the ear was 30 years ago, folks. They're just now announcing this to the public. FDA considering three parent embryos. Will that even be a human? This lets the master engineers piggyback and, and Trojan horse into this so-called humanoid whatever they want, just like they Trojan horse stuff into your dishwasher that spies on you with smart meters and your cell phone or your new digital wristwatch. It's not the technology's bad, it's that the, the people running it are bad. FDA panel to base technique that would create, again, three parents. Uh, genetically modified babies, New York Times. Because I talk about spider goats 15, 20 years ago, people thought I was lying, even though I had the CEO on of part spider, part goat creatures to create body armor. Um, again, here's Time Magazine, Prometheus 101, the science behind Ridley Scott's vision of aliens populating Earth. It's not such a crazy idea. Research has long supported the theory that life originated elsewhere. Again, they're telling you their religion here, okay? Evolution is discredited. It's not the way things happen. Cars evolve, culture evolves. There is definitely change in species, change in genetic lines. I'm not saying some of it doesn't happen, but it's a very small part of the larger 
issue here that we're dealing with. Uh, Rid Ridley Scott's Prometheus Rest on Real Astronomy, another mainline headline. Um, seeding Life Through the Universe, another article. Humans did not come from Earth and sunburn, bad backs, and pain during labor prove it, expert claims. Daily Mail. Uh, alien poll finds half of Americans think extraterrestrial life exists. Uh, all these different Earth-like planets that are being found with the super telescopes uh, they've got now. Uh, here's Wall Street Journal about uh, Earth-sized planet with water could exist, could be discovered. On and on and on. Stephen Hawking says it obviously exists and that the aliens will probably destroy us. Uh, and I have been able to talk to folks that have seen a script out in Hollywood. It's all very secretive, uh, but we do know the basic line of it. And it's about a human journey of humans discovering where we came from. But does that mean it's even true from the perspective that Hollywood is selling in this? The point is, this is a larger window into a discussion of where we came from. And when you have that discussion, the reason I think that discussion is a good discussion it will then lead people not just into fables and not just into conjecture, but to what humans are building and creating now that gives us a window into the DNA we have and what may have been in the past in other creations that the Bible clearly speaks of before the allegory of Adam and Eve. And again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we need to continue to brainstorm on these subjects and to talk about it and then to realize this discussion allows us to transcend the social engineers who are trying to become demigods, who openly believe that we are their cattle to be experimented on and manipulated in their quest to become omnipotent gods, when clearly they are the most selfish, greedy, anti-human, uh, anti-god uh, type individuals I could ever imagine. These people follow the archetype of the devil, or the destroyer, uh, or uh, those that seek to, to suppress human enlightenment and human empowerment. So that is your sneak peek at Prometheus 2. You're living it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's fantastic, is life on this planet, not this film that's coming up. But if we can hijack the discussion of it and use it to direct people out of the Hollywood system into the larger universe, it certainly has borne some positive fruit, and that's what we attempt to do here at InfoWars.com. Ridley Scott, arguably one of the greatest living directors, is set to release a prequel to his 1979 mega-hit, Alien, Prometheus. One of the most anticipated sci-fi films in recent memory, InfoWars.com research analysis shows Prometheus is not just a film, but a revelation of the method, revealing the deepest secrets of the Illuminati mystery religion. I do have a lot of contacts in the media as uh, viewers and listeners know, and I have been able to secure a copy of an early script and it follows very closely from the trailer I've seen and other leaks. And I'm not gonna give the entire film away here, but in synopsis, this is a film about the origins of humankind with a super race of near immortal genetic engineers who are contemplating a genetic overwrite or rewrite of the planet Earth. When meddling humans stumble in to the magician's laboratory, they are punished for their trespass. It was so wrong. The so-called space jockey is the advanced species that have engineered humans back on Earth and produced the bioweapon that we know of as the classical alien that burst out of your chest after feeding on the food in your intestines. The reason we're taking time out to examine Prometheus is because its storyline, its plot, mirrors that of many ancient societies. And the ideas presented in Prometheus are at the core of Western secret societies. These are ancient civilizations that were separated by centuries, and yet 
This same pictogram was discovered in every one of them. Please tell me you can read that. I think they want us to come and find them. Across the world, we see evidence of early civilization's obsession with what they believed were off-world influences. From the Nazca lines in South